it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. For today's video, I have this makeup look right here. I totally got inspired by I Love Sarai. There's a dog outside. I totally got inspired. Oh my God. I totally got inspired by I Love Sarai's um, look, and she got inspiration from a ColourPop artist. Um, and I totally wanted to go with that theme with very monochromatic pink, like hot pink in your eyes, baba boom look. I am so in love with this eye look and that eyeshadow on my lids. It's so gorgeous. Like, I can't stop, like, staring at my eyelids because it's so pretty. Before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe in the little button down there. And let's get on with this tutorial. So for today's look, I'm going to be using my BH, or Costal Sense, uh, 252 Ultimate Palette. I always get confused with BH Cosmetics and Coastal Sense. And for today, I wanted to do a look inspired by I Love Sarai and the... Um, artist from ColourPop and she basically got inspired by the ColourPop artist and now I'm taking inspiration from like both of them um, because I order my ColourPop um, foundations and I'm gonna do a first impression after this I don't even know if I'm like in focus I'm hoping I like I order in that same order I order the um, slave to pink shadow and this looks look at that I've never done in a, like a hot pink I look like never worn a like pink eye look and I'm so excited but I'm going to be taking this color right here it's a light pink and I'm just going to use that as like my transition color I'm taking a Morphe M535 and I'm just going to take that and use it as my transition color and I know that Raw Beauty Christie used to like rave about them too I actually had it like started watching her videos and I was like oh I have that palette and it was like one of my first palettes when I first got into makeup. I am going to go in with a deeper pink. And I'm going to start with this one right here. And I'm going to take that on a Morphe M505. And slowly blending that into my crease. And I'm just going back and forth with windshield motions as well as circular motions to blend this color. I'm going to now take this deeper um, shade right here and this one right here. And I'm just going to stay with that same Morphe M505. And I'm going to pack that on my outer corner. Oh my goodness. The pigment on these shadows is incredible. Now I'm going to be taking my ColourPop Slave to Pink Super Shock pig uh, Pressed Pigment Shadow. And... Um, I'm just going to take that on my finger. It is so, I keep, I, like, I forget how soft, look at that. I keep forgetting, like, so, how soft, um, the shadows are. And I'm just going to place that, oh, wow. I'm going to place that on my lid. That is such a beautiful color. Wow. Now I'm going to apply the Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara from um, L'Oreal and I'm just going to apply this so we can apply the lashes. You don't understand how in love I am with that shadow. It looks so pretty. And I'm pretty sure it's going to stain my eyelids because I tried using a wipey and like my fingertips are like stained. These are like my favorite lashes. They're very similar to the House of Lashes iconic um, style. And this is these are the Coco Lashes in the style Goddess. And they are so pretty. I'm going to wear these today because I feel like with this like boom look they need like really like dramatic lashes 
and no joke these are like my favorite lashes like dramatic lashes and I ordered like 15 pairs because I'm like I need to have backups like what if something happens and like they discontinue them or something I usually like place eyelash on my finger like this just so it has like the little curve once I like place it on my eyelid uh, because sometimes these lashes um, are very like straight and then have a little bit of trouble placing them um, usually with eyelashes you would just like measure them first but I do know that I have a pretty like elongated eye so I know that these fit me like perfectly so I don't have to do any trimming so for my glue I'm gonna take my duo uh, brush on adhesive and I'm just gonna pop these lashes on okay I'm gonna go ahead and do my base off camera because I'm doing a first impression it is it should be up before this video so I'm gonna link it up here um, and I'll be right back so as you can see I already like set my face put on my foundations if you want to see my Colourpop uh, like foundations comparison I am going to be linking it up here and I just just a sneak peek I I'm speechless with both foundations like that's all I'm gonna say um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face with you guys so I already contour I just need to put my blush my highlighter and my lips which I am really excited so I'm gonna be keeping up with the theme monochromatic with all the pinks so I'm gonna be taking the uh, BH cosmetics 10 color palette and this looks like this and it's so pretty so I am going to combine this one right here which is the corner one and this one up here and I'm gonna be taking both of them and I'm gonna be using a Lexi 516 brush and applying that to the apples on my, of my cheeks and dragging it a little bit to the back. On camera, it looks more on like the peachy side, but I promise you in person, it looks more pink. Um, I'm gonna take a tiny bit of this one right here, like hot pink, like just a tiny bit and put it on the apples on my cheeks. Oh, mm, too much, too much. Now I look like a clown. I'm trying to go for that today, even though it's Halloween, but <laughs> just using my powder brush and trying to blend that a little bit. I'm gonna move on to highlight. And I'm gonna be taking two um, Anastasia Beverly Hills highlights. I'm gonna be taking my Nicole Guerrero highlight and my Moonchild. For my first highlight, I'm going to be taking uh, Kitty Cat right here. And I'm going to apply that on a Morphe 501. I'm putting that on the... I forgot the word. Um, my cheekbones. I loved this highlight palette, but it was too powdery like a lot of powder will come off like a lot of kickback I don't know if you guys can see right there and then I'm gonna go in with my moon child and I'm gonna take the color pink heart which on camera it looks super white um, but it has kind of like uh, uh, like a pinky iridescent shape to it um, so I'm gonna take that on that same M501 and just a tiny bit God, I love this already um, pink is my favorite color but it's more like a blush pink kind of like the color that's on my banner uh, but I'm loving this I'm here for it um, so now the only thing we have left oh my inner corner and lower lash what are you talking about girl okay so I did not see that my camera was not recording so I'm gonna go ahead and take this and the one on top and I'm gonna combine it with a morphe e18 Blends out of my lower lash line. And then for my inner highlight, I'm going to take the um, Highlight Flexitarian from Colourpop. And I'm just going to take a pencil brush and apply this to my inner corners. And kind of connecting my inner corner right here. And my highlight I'm 
And then I'm just going to apply a little bit, like whatever was left on this brush. I'm just going to take it on my eyebrow highlight. So, I have these two lipids here. And one is the Matte X Barely There. Barely There. <laughs> my accent came out like strong there. Um, and this is a lipstick. Oh my god, I can't talk. Uh, this is a lippy stick, which is really, really bright. And I think it would go like, it's a little bit brighter than I want. So, I'm doing, I think I'm going to pass on that one. And the other one, this is a Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the shade Bawawu 5? Sure. Um, B-A-U-H-A-U 5. Um, and this is more on the like purple side. I think I'm going to go with that one because it's so pretty. That like matches perfectly the eyes. Yeah, I'm going to go with that one. So that is it for this makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe in the little button down there. As always, all of the products that I use in this video are going to be linked down in the description box, as well as all of my social media. And until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!